check out my boat, the Sea Wolf. Oh yeah, multi-purpose battle brig. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you my battle brig. Going to show you um, the different parts of it and what it does while I've done certain things. And uh, hopefully I'll get to show you it in action. Try and find a whale um, or a couple of ships of dams or maybe both. Who knows? We'll see what happens. It's uh, currently sunrise. We've been waiting for the sun to come up because it gets really dark in this game. And I don't like when I turn the camera up because I forget to put it back down. It looks awful in the daytime. But yeah, this is the Seawolf. Um, loads of armour on it. It's pretty heavy um, for a ship, to be honest. But it does the job. Got my cool little emblem if I do say so myself a bronze beard the bronze beard emblem um, and yeah got uh, free handling sails on it uh, they're fine handling sails there they've got increased angle on them there's a galleon over there sailing past lovely um, and the cannons I've got 10 cannons got uh, they're all masterwork cannons I can't remember what the damages I'll have a look in a minute when we're walking around and three uh, journeyman ballistas as well Plus two diving uh, attachments, one on each side, just because I don't like <laughs> like it when they don't match. I'll just pull the sails down and we'll have a little wander around the ship before sailing into anything. So here we go, I've got a few little fires here because I'm in the polar region. This is in N1 on the official server, which is where um, I spend most of my time. And i uh, got Frosty the Penguin. Oh boy, my little buddy Frosty with his little pirate hat on. Um, and that and the fire stops me dying. He just works on his own fine most of the time, but there has been an occasion when it's got super cold up here, like minus 60 cold. And uh, even with full fur armour on like I'm wearing and 60 fortitude, it hasn't been enough. So uh, yeah, we've got a little penguin, super handy. And he looks awesome in his hat. But yeah, back to the boat. Oh yeah, all my crew got matching uniform because I am sad and I like to do that kind of stuff. Look at them, they look cool though. Tell me that doesn't look cool in their matching uniform. Oh boy. But yeah, all these cannons that they're actually on are um, masterwork. And they're 131% increased weapon damage. Uh, my buddy Raddy built them for me and he also made my ballistas. Which are journeyman's of 128% increased damage on so um, pretty nice little setup everything else on this boat like I said except the uh, sails is just the common stuff the white goods um, and all the armor is all just the standard reef tiles which I'm going to upgrade at some point or was going to but I'm going to leave it now because we've recently found a mythical large shipyard so uh, the next one a build will be out of that probably um, and the reason being, with the mythical shipyard, you get increased levels. So every time you get an increase in your shipyard, it allows you to make a higher level boat. So the level cap on this one, because it's a common, is 41, I believe. And then with if you go all the way up through them, like I said, it adds a couple of levels each time. And once you get to mythical, you can get up to 50. And obviously max being 50. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. But I might actually upgrade the um, armor on this once I find some better reef tile blueprints to get the increased durability on them these have all got 5k and they do the job and if you don't know what the purpose of the armor is um if i zoom out here quickly um oh what a shot look at it, it looks stunning i love this ship and um, what the armor does is you can see there it goes like almost halfway down the hull um and it's doubled up or tripled up at the back now quadrupled up even where the cannons are because most of the time that's what's going to get focused because obviously that's putting down the damage on anything Apart from whales, whales will hit you. Um, can't find a button. There we go. Um, whales hit you from every angle. They just come up from underneath and do like damage all along the bottom of your hull, basically. So the armor does nothing there. Um, but as far as like when you engage other ships, they'll normally target or specifically ships of dam. They'll target where your crew are and what's firing at them, that being the cannons and stuff. So, um, yeah, that takes a lot of the damage most of the time. God damn, that fog transition was nutty. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so the armour protects your hull, obviously. That's what it does. Um, and it does a really good job of it as well because this will all get destroyed before you take significant damage to your planks. Uh, most of the time, even if I lose some planks and stuff, if, if I go and check my planks down here, they'll all be on... They'll, they'll still be on like over 3k, 3.5k health. 
um, because the armor does that much defense for the boat. Is that a sentence? I think it is. You know what I mean. It, it works that efficiently. Um, so it's really, really handy. I've gone a bit over the top of it, I thought, originally, because it's quite heavy. Um, although I've, I'm level 39 on this ship now. And uh, the weight's up to like 8k or something, I think. Or exactly 8k. And I'm just going to leave it there. We're at like not quite 50% weight right now. And I've got um, a lot of resources on for repairs. Got a full ship's crew. Got food. We've got a water barrel, which is a little bit heavy. Um, obviously got 10 cannons, 3 ballistas. The ballistas are really heavy. And all the ammo for them. So, it's quite a lot on it, to be honest. And, you know, it's... Not overweight, I'm still getting a good good amount of speed out of it. I still outrun most things that I need to. Whales won't catch it, so that's handy. Um, does well in a fight, so it's it's fine. But originally I didn't have all this armor. Like I said, it was just the back. And what was happening was um, stuff was getting damaged at the front. And instead of losing a armor piece, I was having to go and repair planks in the middle of stuff or run away and repair things. And I just thought, well, I'll put the whole lot around. And I'm glad I did, because it looks really cool for one. And it does work. And I managed to get it done without having to have any walls supporting it. Originally, I put walls down the side, which I kind of like the look of. Um, but I got in a massive fight, a big fleet fight. And um, I, it all got taken out, although the arm was still on the outside. And then I realised I didn't actually need them. So I took them all out, all the walls. And all the roof tiles still stayed up. Um, I think it's because they all come off this back piece, this hollow bit, which used to be a cabin and a galley, um, which I changed once I decided to go this route of um, shipbuilding. Um, and the reason I'd done that was because, like I said earlier, they, all the damage gets focused at the back here, and what was happening was, on the back, if I uh, zoom out here, where the... Um, Seawolf nameplate is obviously there's no armor there, so that gets hit and then panels get taken out. Um, and if you get hit with a barrage, everything was going in that back bit. And you can actually protect that back piece by building the armor before you put your planks on, but I'll explain that in another video. Um, I didn't do that on this boat. Um, but yeah, it was taken out them, and then it was damaging the stuff that was in this cabin. Like I said, this used to be a two-leveled cabin. Um, at the, the top bit on the what would be the second row there was the captain's quarters, and down here was a galley. And then I had the stairs going down into the hull. Um, and when the back panel was getting blown out, it was destroying all my storage boxes and my um, food larders and stuff like that at the back. So I got sick of it and redone it and took that out, left these in obviously to hold everything up. Put a feeding trough in, I put a bear in here when I go out doing treasure maps. And it's just tucked in there nicely out of the way and it stays there nice and safe. And uh, yeah, it wor works really well. I don't really like the look of it, but there's not much I can do with it. I've tried playing around with it and that was what I was happiest with, so that's how it stayed. And if I go down here into the hole... Um, I've moved everything into the middle of the ship because, like I said, it was at the back, it was getting destroyed. And um, didn't want it at the front because it's too far to run and I'm lazy. <laughs> it's just more efficient to have it here with the um, access hatch right next to it. So when I'm loading, which is what these doors are for, I've got one each side, depending on which side I've moored on, um, to load things on nice and easy. I can stand here on a bear and throw a load of wood down there, for example, pick all the wood up, chuck it down here, and then put it into the resource box or whatever I want to do with it. So it's just nice and efficient. We've got um, two bookshelves. One's a dump, which is this one. This one's uh, like a current run. I ain't got anything in there at the moment. But all that is, um, is if I go map hunting, um, I'll go, I'm going to N3, I'll collect all the maps at N3 that are in the bookshelf in the vault at the main base and then one and then I'll put them in there and they're the ones I'm doing and everything else I collect on the journey I dump in there and I sort it out later when I get back to base and I've just got the one storage box to save weight I don't like doing this I like to have things organized into different like categories um, but to save weight I've just got the one storage box and I've minimized everything um, I've got a couple of sets of fur armor in case like Jamie or Tim or anyone jumps over to help me with anything um, so there's some extra fur armor pieces, uh, a few extra grappling hooks and things like that, just handy little bits, and six planks in case anything goes tits up and I lose a plank, because that is really important. And the other super important thing is buckets. 
Um, people don't know you can bail out your ship with a bucket. Um, and uh, Rad dude, or Tim, he didn't realise that he's lost his ship because he didn't know he could bail out the water and he tried to sail to an island and in the time it took him to get to the island he was still sinking and then I jumped across and I was as I got there the boat sunk and he didn't have no buckets. And um, yeah, it's really important you have buckets in your storage box and uh, six planks or so. Six planks might be a bit too many, you just need a couple basically. It's not very often you, unless you get hit by a whale, you shouldn't lose a, a lot of planks in one go. But I like to have six. Um, I don't know why, it's just a number I like to have in there. And that way, if things go really bad, you've got a plank, and if you just start sinking and you don't want to waste a plank, you've got your buckets and you can bail out the water while you're repairing or trying to get to an island, uh, that's the way to do it. So, yeah, really minimalist, just the essentials. Obviously, the ammo box. I only carry ballista and cannonballs with me, the medium cannonballs. Um, anything else I collect on the journey, I will put in there, but I'll empty out afterwards, and I'll only keep the medium cannon and the ballista uh, bolts in there. Resource box, obviously, just the essentials, though. Um, there's a few extra bits in there at the moment that I haven't sorted out, but most of the time, like, you can see, it's all just organised, and I've only got a little bit of each thing because um, it all adds weight, and if you put it in a resource box, it's actually got increased weight on it rather than reduced weight, which I didn't know until recently. So if I've got any extra stuff, I tend to put it in my smithy because it won't affect its weight. It'll just be whatever it's meant to be. Um, and then we've got like four beds, I think, around here just for um, to maximise the amount of beds I can have on it, really, because I've got a little bit of increase on the beds. Because um, that increases like the hull auto repair and stuff like that. And uh, up the crew a little bit just to get a few extra crew to man all my stuff. And also, if, like I said, if uh, Jamie or Rad do jump over here, then um, or anyone else, <laughs> because of my crew's maxed out, I was getting the uh, sinking warning. So I've had to put a few points in that to stop that happening. Like I said earlier, 8k weight and then, and then 196 resistances, which I'm going to round up to 200. Um, and maybe just pump the last few levels into that, to be honest. Uh, that does so much damage reduction is unbelievable you should always make sure you get a lot of that um, then we've just got uh, an ice box which I might take off now to be honest I put it on originally because I built this boat um, or I modified it in the region down from here and I didn't have no ice so I stuck that in to make ice for my little uh, preserving bag there uh, and the ice is actually really heavy like a stack of hundreds 105 kilos or whatever the measurement on this game is so, um, oh, it is kilos, yeah, it's 105 kilos per stack of ice. So it's really heavy if that ice box filled up. So I might take that off now I've got it all up and running. Um, got a grill instead of cooking pot, because I prefer it to the cooking pot, and that is the only reason I've got it. And then a mess table, obviously, to feed the uh, crew, which is empty at the moment. I need to top that up. And, yeah, that's about it, really. That's um, the hull, anyway. And uh, like I said, the armour completely surrounds it. have got two diving attachments because I don't like it when they don't match up. So I like to have one each side. And the other thing being, um, if anyone comes over or we're doing anything together, there's two diving attachments if anyone else fancies a little dive. And uh, yeah, we've got one ladder up to the front crow's nest um, on the handling cells. Which is, like I said earlier, the handling cells are um, fine and they're 106% increased angle. Um, need to upgrade them at some point, but they've been really handy for the moment. And the reason I've got handling sails and not speed sails, and a lot of people go, oh, I want speed sails. Um, I prefer the handling sails. I prefer to be able to turn. I prefer to get um, the wind angle when the wind's blowing in the wrong direction or not a direction that favours me. I like to have the handling sails for that because you can get out of trouble a lot easier with them. And they, the turning, the, the manoeuvrability of the boat with free handling sails on is absolutely awesome. I love it. I love the speed of the um, open and closing of the sails and the turning of the sails. I just like handling sails and I ain't really that bothered. I ain't trying to get anywhere far really. I'm not trying to go like a lot of... I'm not trying to go a long distance. Fucking hell, sentences are hard aren't they man? Jesus. I'm not trying to get that far with this boat. I'm only really staying up here farming things. And if I have to take it somewhere it won't be very often. I'm not bothered about how long it takes. Um, I've got the galleon for doing like long journeys, which that has actually got six speed sails, um, six handling sails on the minute. I'm going to change them because we've just got some nice speed sails, so I'm going to upgrade them to speed sails. But yeah, I prefer handling sails overall. Um, so yeah, that's it. Got a water barrel, obviously. <laughs> you should always have a water barrel really handy. 
And uh, yeah, that's that is the Sea Wolf. Um, if you're wondering if you don't know how to put um, paint on your sails, I'll do that in another video. I'll also show you how to do it on the flags and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go and see if we can find anything to showcase how awesome the Sea Wolf is. Other than the fact it looks really awesome anyway, I've got the Poseidon figurehead on there if you wondered what that one was. I uh, can't remember how much it was, probably like 800 gold or something from a free port. But, um, yeah, I like to have a figurehead on the ship, it's a nice finishing touch to the boats, I think. Especially with this, the um, arm is really square and kind of weird at the front. I think that uh, Poseidon figurehead makes it look nice and tidy. Um, yeah, like I said though, that armour is incredibly good at protecting your boat it's so good worth having it's worth the weight reduction you get from it really because of obviously the amount of weight it puts on to you but uh yeah overall i really love this ship it's definitely one of my favorite ships i've built oh there's a ship of the damned over there uh just faded out there but it's um only a green but there might be a fleet behind it we'll go and have a look oh he's just on his own i feel almost bad for him but uh, yeah, just to demonstrate these cannons, I'll uh, take him out and uh, just swap to the back section. So it's just going to select my cannons. Um, and I am going to, if you're watching this and um, you've joined since I made some videos saying about like doing Xbox stuff, um, I will get round to doing uh, doing that and showing you how to use the uh, hotkeys on the controller. It'll be interesting for myself really, that died so fast. Uh, but I will get around to that, I'll do it on its own little video so it's separate and uh, just a quick video. But yeah, that was the master of cannons in action. Uh, it was only a green ship of the dam but you get the picture, it's really effective. Took no damage with this armour. There's a red uh, a red even Shuna, so we're going to take this guy out. I ain't going to go and pick up that box because I can't bother to stop. And it was only a green. Uh, could have been something good, but the only thing that we've been waiting for is the um, shipyard, and you don't get that from the boats, I don't think so. And we've already got it. Let's take this dude out. I'm probably going to take some damage here. This wasn't the best entry into this fight. Level 25. I'm definitely going to take some damage in this. You'll get to see the armour. This guy has got a time yet. Sales turned. And yeah. Masterwork cannons making short work of this dude as well. Is he going to turn and come for me? Hopefully. I can't bother to turn around. So hope he's going to come. Um, unlike me, what you want to do really is cancel the... Uh, Cannon shots. I think he's slightly out of range because otherwise I'll just keep going off like that. But I think they'll get him now. Yeah, there you go. Oh boy. Now, I wish there was a fleet here, but you can see how powerful this boat is. You can see how effective the cannon, uh, the uh, armor is. Um, and you can do just that with a fleet. And you just want to pick them off exactly like as if they was on their own anyway. Just try and grab one at a time. Um, and you can take a good barrage with this armor on. Um, I've found I've done it quite a few times. I got broadsided by a couple of galleons and just sailed on through. You might lose a panel or two, but you can get through it and pull what you're trying to pull and nuke each thing down individually. And that seems to be uh, one of the strongest strongest strategies for this boat in particular. But yeah, that's the Sea Wolf. Uh, I didn't see no whales, which is unfortunate. But um, I'll do a whaling video anyway, separate, um, and show you the the ballistas in action. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is a multi-purpose brig, and the reason I've done that is because this was the first battle brig I had, and uh, we've gone from strength to strength in a really short period of time, and I've had no reason to swap out of this boat and have like an individual. Whaler or um, Ship of the Damned Fighter because this does both things like really really easily so just kind of be a waste of resources I want to wait and uh, like we've got the mythical shipyard now so I want to wait and make some in out of that and to be honest I'll probably make a carbon copy of this uh, just with you know obviously it'll be a higher level 
It might change a few things here and there, but obviously um, when I do that, I'll show you guys what I come up with. Let's uh, have a little look what was in this. Not a bloody lot. Okay. Oh, I'm slowly dying of malnutrition. Forgot my berries and my vegetables, god damn it. But anyway, I'm going to get this back to base and uh, probably die and respawn because uh, I can't bother to uh, sort them vitamins out when they're that low. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found the brig interesting or helpful. Maybe it's um, going to trigger something that you'd like to use. And you'll see loads of boats like this anyway. Like this is. Um, I originally got you know, this kind of build from Firespark. Um, and you'll see plenty of people with it. But this is obviously the Seawolf. This is my boat. So I yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find it useful. And uh, I'll see you on the seven seas. Arr! There's only one sea on this game. You know what I mean. See you later. <laughs>